Welcome to our full ship tour of the Carnival Elation. We're gonna start out on deck seven because all of the decks below are mainly just cabins. Yeah, we're gonna start here in the atrium and over to our right here, this is the business center. They've got a couple computers set up where you can go and you can check your email and stuff like that. We're gonna kind of turn a little bit here and at the center and then you're gonna see the atrium bar. This again, if this is the atrium and this is where pretty much all the like events and stuff like that happen. Over here on your right is the shore excursion desk where you can book all of your shore excursions if you haven't already done so. And if you keep going, here is your guest services desk. Now we're also going to swing around here and you're going to see some seating over here. There's so much just seating all throughout the ship. You never have a, uh, you know, a problem finding a quiet place to sit. Okay, continuing on with the deck seven, down this hallway off the atrium, you're gonna walk through the art gallery. Okay, we're gonna move up to deck eight. We're gonna start at the front of the ship. This is the Mikado Lounge, also known as the theater. Yep, now this is where you're gonna see all your big shows while you're on the ship. This is where the Love and Marriage, the Rock Show, this is where they do bingo. You can see where it's two floors scanning around here. Again, it's got plenty of seating. And notice that they have like those bench seats, so it's kind of neat where you can fit people going all the way around. All right, coming out of the lounge, you're gonna see the fun shops. Here, we're in port, so they're closed at the time, but you look over there, there's one of the fun shops. Okay, moving back into the atrium. Over here on the right is Circle C. It is the kids club. Now, of course, we couldn't record back there. Okay, now just down from the kids club, you'll find Duke's Piano Bar. Yes, the piano bar is actually a pretty good size for the smaller size ship here. It's plenty of seating. Uh, he sits there in the middle and it's got a pretty cool New York theme going. Okay, and right next door, you're gonna find the Imagination Dining Room. Yes, this is one of two main dining rooms. This one is more aimed at the My Time Dining. Again, it's got plenty of seating and it was great. Okay, and right next door to the dining room, you're gonna find the Mark Twain Library. Yeah, it's got books and everything for you to check out, but also in there, you'll find people playing board games. And now we come to the liquor shop. Okay, we're moving on up to deck nine. Once again, we're gonna start at the front of the ship and we're back in the Mikado Lounge, the theater. This time we're on the upper level, so take a look around.
All right, coming back out, we're back to the atrium again, and this is the photo gallery. This is where all the pictures that they take during your cruise are going to be posted out here for purchase. Okay, and there's some more seating around there, and then we're going to continue around the atrium, looking down at the atrium bar. All right, there's the Kids O2 Club and continuing around the atrium here over in this corner on the left is the arcade and right over there to the right, that's actually an entrance to the Mikado Lounge. But here's the arcade, it's pretty small, has a bunch of machines though. Alright, walking back around the atrium again. And over here, we're going to enter the casino. The casino is a pretty big size for this ship. Lots of, uh, lots of machines. It's broken up into a smoking and non-smoking side. And when you're on the non-smoking, it's, it's pretty clean, but it does carry over some. Okay, coming around outside the casino, you'll find the drama bar. Yeah, this is actually a big spot at night. There's a lot usually going on there. Now turning to the right, and here we're going to turn and go into the Romeo and Juliet lounge. Yeah, I believe they do a lot of the karaoke in here. All right, coming back out of there, this is the Java Blue Cafe. Again, this is a uh, pay coffee, unless you have the drink package and then it's included. And right across from Java Blue is the Cherry on Top, the candy store. All right, we're continuing on towards the back of the ship. Over here on your right, you're going to find the Limelight Lounge. Now, this is where they do all of the comedy on the show. They don't have a separate room for the punchliner. This is what they call their punchliner. It's in the Limelight Lounge. Again, we suggest to get there early. If there is a decent amount of seating. However, it fills up, and if you get a seat in the back, it gets pretty hard to see. All right, coming out of the Limelight Lounge, we take a right. As you can see, there's lots more seating out here um, just to chill. Here is a jewelry shop. And then continuing on to the back of the ship, you're going to find the Alchemy Bar. Yeah, the Alchemy Bar, it's kind of stuck in the back, and it's, it's kind of hard to find. Not hard to find, but it's in the very back. And you actually have to kind of cut through there to get to the Inspiration Dining Room.
Okay, this is kind of like a little secret hidden passage to get to the Serenity deck. You have to go through all these cabins. All right, here is the Serenity deck. It's pretty small. Uh, this was one of the few places we found that where it was kind of hard to get a seat during a sea day. Um, it only has two hot tubs, one on each side there. There's definitely no pool back here. That's right, this is the adults only area on the ship. Okay, and now we're going to explore Deck 10. We're going to start up here in the atrium. We're just going to walk around until we get to the Lido Deck. All right, here's the Lido Deck. Taking a right, we come over to the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. Okay, and as we turn around, we're going to go to the opposite corner of the ship and you're going to find the Red Frog Rum Bar. All right, now this is the Lido Pool. This is the only pool on the ship. That's right, and you also have a couple of hot tubs there as well. Now this is called like the Lido deck, and this is where they have a lot of the deck parties, and right now they have the beanbag toss up there. And then moving on to the back of the ship, here is where you're gonna find Guy's Burgers. All right, continuing on over, here is the Blue Iguana Cantina. And right next door is the entrance to Tiffany's Lido Buffet. Now there are two buffet sections, one on the left, one on the right, but they're both identical. Here is one of the drink stations where you can get your juice or your coffee, and here's one of the buffets. Okay, we're going to walk past the drink stations again, and we're going to come to everybody's favorite, the dessert bar. And then back here, it's not open right now, so you're not going to see anything, but this is where you would actually find the salad bar. All right, continuing on to the back, this is the Pizza Pirate. This is where you can get your free pizza. And right over here next to the salad bar, we're going to come to the deli. Now you can get hot and cold sandwiches here at the deli. All right, and then in the other corner of the back of the Lido Buffet is the Lido Bar. Okay, 
and just outside the doors, you're gonna find a couple more tables for you to sit outside and enjoy your meal. Okay, we've moved up to deck 11, and we're, this is the veranda deck. And once again, we're gonna start off in the atrium, just to give you an idea of how to get there from the atrium. So we're just gonna walk around until we get to the entrance. All right, coming out here, you're going to notice a couple of ping pong tables. And over there is the smoking section. And you can look down on the pool. All right, we're walking again towards the back of the ship and you can see again plenty of seating. Also on this deck, you'll find all of the lifeboats. All right, we're coming out to the back of the ship here, and this is the waterworks. And as you can see, there's plenty of seating back here on the back of the ship. Okay, now we're on to deck 12. This is the sports deck. And we're gonna start you off here in the spa, the Cloud Nine Spa. Now we have to walk through either the women's or the men's locker room to get to the fitness center. That, so that's what you're seeing right here. We're walking through the women's section of the locker room. And also these are the rooms where they do like massage treatments and things like that. And here is the fitness center. And then back at the entrance, we missed the spot here. This is the beauty salon where you can get your hair done on the ship. All right, we're coming back into the atrium and this is where the camp oceans are on each side, left and right. So if you go to the right, this side is the penguins, ages two to five. And then going back over to the left, there you go. Here is the entrance to the stingrays and to the sharks. And the sharks is ages nine to 11. Okay, we are on, still on deck 12 at the aft of the ship. There's the big whale tail. Now this is where the entrances to the slides are. Here's the big uh, spinny slide, the tube slide. Yeah. 
and then we're going to walk to the other side of the whale tail and that's where the entrance to the sports the little speed slides are just be aware that this deck is very hot And here you go. Here was that other entrance to the little speed slides. Okay, moving on up to our final decks, deck 14 and 15. All right, here on deck 14 is your shuffleboard. Now all the things are included over in that little bench there to the left. And then moving on around, this is mini golf or putt putt. And there's all your little putters. All right, we're heading to deck 15, and this is called the sun deck. And there's nothing really up here except seating and great views. Okay. That concludes our tour of the Carnival Elation. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.